How's it going everyone? Uh, today I'm going to go over a brief tutorial on how to get uh, Tears of the Kingdom up and running on the Steam Deck. Um, it was really, really tricky. I had to dig through a bunch of different forums and <clears throat> I couldn't get a straight answer from anybody and it ran like garbage. It ran very, very poor, but then I found a couple of different bits and pieces of information buried in a bunch of different forums and combining a couple of these uh, things that people have tried. I've gotten the Tears of the Kingdom to run pretty good, as about as good as it can. Um, I, I got it running mostly at 30 FPS uh, with minimal to no slowdowns and... Got a lot of the shading fixed as well as uh, the slowdowns because when you're running it in the game, it's going to want to try to run at 60 FPS. And if it can't, every the all the animations and everything is just going to run absolutely piss poor. Um, so what we're going to first and foremost do is go to our uh, desktop mode. Which might take a hot minute sometimes or sometimes not um now setting up tears of the kingdom and all of that fun jazz i do highly recommend that uh you have cairo utilities installed um that basically just boosts the performance of the steam deck it basically is just a performance booster at little to no cost you'll hear pretty much no negative things about it um having that installed is extremely helpful and then of course the steam rom manager having that installed makes it easier that way you can actually access uh the tears of the kingdom shortcut within the the steam o big picture mode or whatever the main user interface is uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open up yuzu here and I will show you guys the mods that I have. And I will be linking uh, all of their different locations uh, in the YouTube uh, description. Um, the biggest one is uh, this one right here. This one is a custom folder I made. It, it, ignore that one. But this one right here is uh, the Tears of the Kingdom uh, Yuzu Fix. Or, no, not this one. That's just a text f file. This one. It's going to basically just act like any old mod where you drop it and dr drag it into the mod folder, kind of how you see fit. This was within this folder, so I can actually go ahead and get rid of this. But essentially, you would when you download it, you'll have that. You want this in your mod folder. I have the 60 FPS mod here as well. Um to test trial it essentially but it is garbage on the steam deck at least it's helpful if you have a bigger desktop something a little bit more powerful that you play on and of course the 30 fps mod that works that looks just like any other mod um so just to kind of show you guys real quick you right click and then you want to open up your mod data location. And this is where you're going to dra drag and drop all of the, the things that I link in uh, the, the comment, the, the description. Um, and then you're, once you download them, um, on, if you do it directly on your Steam Deck, they should be in some, you know, right in your downloads folder. So if you're used to Windows, you'll have these all these shortcuts here in your file explorer which the file explorer looks like this little icon right here so essentially go to your downloads there it is or wherever you told it to download right click on the game open up mod location and drag and drop them just how you see right here um <clears throat> except for the 60 fps one i won't be linking that just because it's uh not a good idea on the steam deck and then once you drag and drop them into uh, the game uh, mod folder, you want to go ahead and right click and then properties. This is where you're going to see and toggle things off. So the 60 FPS, you can see that I have it untoggled um, and I have all the other stuff toggled on. 
And on top of that note, um, I won't link where to find the game, but you do need uh, update 1.10. In that update, it has a lot of fixes for the AMD uh, super resolution thing that they were going for. Um, it has a lot of fixes for a lot of crashing that was going on. And then on emulators in specific, it was just crashing left and right and everything was just a hot mess. So that Yuzu fix uh, mod it fixes a lot of that. And I went from crashing like every other minute to maybe potentially crashing once every hour, if that. Um, so the, all of these pretty much get you in the best running condition that you possibly can. Obviously, uh, you need to make sure that your Yuzu emulator is, has all the keys um, as well as uh, the update, uh, the, like the system firmware for the update. Um, so if, if you don't know where to find, like where to put your keys and all that, I'll, I'll link them in the description as well just in case you need them. But essentially, you go to File, Open Yuzu Folder, and then... This is where all the fun stuff is going to be. Um, your keys, you, you you get two files that look just like this. You'll drop drag and drop those in there. So if you're getting like a black screen or anything, you definitely want to make sure you got, get the newest version of those. And then for the system firmware update, I believe it is in here somewhere. It is. Yep. Okay. So let me... So once you open up... The user folder, it's NAND system contents registered. You will, if you download a system firmware, a switch system firmware update, it'll come like in some type of zip file or something along those lines. Um, so once you download it, just drag it and drop it into this folder and then tell it to extract here, then de delete the zip. That way things are a lot less uh, annoying just because trying to navigate if you're just using the steam deck in and of itself is because kind of a pain um so you want to make sure you have the the keys the prod keys the system firmware update um obviously uh an update to the tears of the kingdom in and of itself and then along with these mods you guys should have an overall pretty good experience um and then i will go ahead and show you guys what that kind of looks like so once you boot the game up, whether you uh, use the Steam ROM manager and you open up up with you know the basic uh, Steam Deck user interface, or if you open it up in uh, desktop mode, however you guys open up the game, um, you should be coming to the main. Well, well you'll have a cutscene if it's your first time playing. But I got my um, my information up here just to show you guys real quick that. Uh, you know, it's not cooking, cooking the machine yet. I got a solid 30 FPS. Granted, this is just the main menu. Um, cool thing is that there's no input lag, at least none that's atrociously noticeable. Um, let's see here. I think it's just a little slow. It is a pretty pretty large switch game. There we go. Cool. So, not the best loading time time on the planet, but uh in larger areas, you'll probably get 20 to 30 FPS, kind of like how I'm getting right now. But for the most part, it runs pretty good. And this is about as good as it can possibly run, at least at the current moment, on the Steam Deck. Um, and another thing that I, I didn't mention before is you want to make sure that you are using um, the handheld mode. Uh, like, yeah, sure, the resolution is going to look like total garbage, but the game runs pretty good and better this way. 
Um, so in large areas, you'll get kind of get a fluctuation in FPS, but in decently smaller areas, you'll get a little bit better uh, FPS. And then I'm sure over time, more updates uh, to Yuzu will improve this performance. But considering that there's not massive graphical issues other than those leaves. Um, and the FPS is relatively okay for the most part. Um, I've, I've seen pretty much in a majority of areas, I, I get basically 25 to 30 for the most part. Um, and it's pretty decent. It's a little bit, a little unacceptable for the most part, but... At the end of the day, it's playable, and it works, and I just killed myself, so. But yeah, that's how I've got it running, about as good as it can run at the current moment in time, but if you've ever tried to play Breath of the Wild on the, the Steam Deck before, it, it also runs like absolute dog water, and it's very difficult to get, uh, get up and running, so the more that people play this, the more that people... We'll update it. Well, I'm pretty sure we'll get better stuff uh, down the road for sure. But other than that, I hope this helps uh, someone save p potentially a buttload of hours scouring the internet because I know that I spent six hours finding all of this information just to get it where it is right now. And it's kind of why I'm making this uh, video is so that people don't have to waste hours and hours and hours trying to find some random dude who made these mods so i hope you guys uh appreciate it and let me know if you guys want to see any other future videos from me thanks